So he, him, his, and Bruce Teague, mayor of Iowa City. Uh, one big thing that I've known uh, is that leadership should look like those that are in our community. And me, being black and gay, I think that's a perfect representative uh, to have a voice and speak from a vantage point that often isn't heard when we're talking about pol policies and things that's being decided for people uh, within our community. And so I thought it would be the greatest opportunity for me to put my hat in. And I was so excited when I was selected to be mayor. The young people that have been coming up and saying, thank you so much. It's super cool that we have a gay mayor. And it's also surprising when I am going to schools and such and having these conversations. And then all of a sudden, you know, I kind of say that I'm, a, you know, I'm gay and the eye is like, oh my God, that's super cool. I had no idea. And, and I think it gives people hope that you don't have to be silent, but I do un recognize that for some, they don't feel safe not being silent. And all that is being done with, you know, throughout um, our community is really being done in a spirit of love and equitable as well as fully inclusive. And I think that's something that we really need to do is just love each other unconditionally. And that's where my advocacy will remain. It'll be on the uh, policy level because in my role, it just is just what I do. But what I really find most impactful is individuals and getting them to understand, you know, the, the process that they're, that they're going through just with the emotions of understanding and accepting someone. But I think it's really that individual level that I have a gift at just talking to people. And what I've learned is that this is a, a community that does love and accept people for who they are. I feel very free and confident that no matter where I go, people are going to accept me for who I am. And that's a great feeling for anyone that is with my background. And I'm just so appreciative for being in the city and extra honored to be the mayor. I am so thankful to be honored today. As I think about this award and what it means to me, my family, my community, and my friends, and um, everyone, I just can't help but to uh, just imagine how my life was way back when to where it is now, where I was that silent person, very fearful of uh, saying that I was gay. And now I'm on a platform receiving the most courageous award uh, for being my authentic self. And so I thank One Iowa for this recognition, and I thank all of you for being a part of this today.